Hey guys, I just wanted to kind of go over some stuff and show you this uh, um, how to fix some issues that I found in one of this one of these models. So this is Vivian's model that he's been working on for volume four um, of his digital tutors assignment. <clears throat> and when I opened the model, I immediately noticed that there were some issues going on back here where you're seeing the this artifacting. You see these black lines. Um, this kind of black shading and typically what that means is the geometry in that area is broken so what you would do is you come back here and you take a look and I can already see that <clears throat> right in this area there's kind of a break in these edges here so what I did is I will come into here into turbo smooth and I'll just turn off turbo smooth okay and now I'll go into my editable poly on the right hand side right here and I'll grab my vertex mode, sub object mode and I'll come over here and I'll grab this vertice and you can see when I move it around that it's not attached so I need to attach that vertice to this vertice and the way to do that is to scroll down in your uh, sub object vertex mode you're going to scroll down until you see target weld okay what you'll do is you'll click on target weld you'll grab the vertice that you want to weld and then you'll you get this um, this indicator line that you can see this, the dotted lines um, and then you'll just basically click on the vertice you want to weld to and it will weld that vertice all right, now we need to do the same thing on the other side. So I will just rotate to that other side. I'll, I'll use the orbit tool to rotate. Okay, and once again, I grab that vertice and we can see that it's not welded. All right, now I wanna show you a neat little trick here. Um, and I did, I did kind of go over this in class, but if you wanna find areas where there are vertices that are not welded, then the sub-object border tool is border mode is a really really good um, tool to to find these um, these situations. So if I just grab, if I just open up the border tool here, and I just marquee over the entire object, then it will automatically point me right to the areas that aren't welded together where there's a break in the model. All right, so. Uh, in this case obviously it found that one spot so I'm gonna grab that vertice again and then I'm gonna go ahead scroll down to target weld I'll click target target weld and then I'll click the vertice that I want to weld I get the marquee lines or the um, the dotted lines and then I will click the vertice I want to weld to okay and now we've closed up all of those those breaks in the geometry so now when I go in and I select the border tool I'll scroll over I'll marquee over the whole object and you notice now it doesn't select anything that means this entire object is now watertight there are no breaks in the model so now it's a complete model alright so now when I turn on, turn on my turbo squid I mean I'm sorry I apologize my turbo smooth now I'm not going to get those weird shading, that weird shading that I had up there. And now if I increase my iterations by up to two, you can see it's a nice smooth model back there. So if you're encountering this problem, this is, um, this is actually going to be the solution is to, to just find out where the model is broken and make sure that those vertices are welded in those areas. Um, so I hope everybody is doing okay on their homework, and I look forward to seeing everybody's finished assignments. Thanks a lot.